We are back in the Stone Creek kitchen, and I am not going to be outdone. <laughs> I, mm, I didn't try it on camera because I right. knew I couldn't talk with my mouth full. There you go. Mm, it is so good. It is so good. <laughs> Executive chef Nate Johnson is here from Distrito Hotel, a restaurant, Distrito Restaurant yep. inside the Saguaro Hotel. Inside Tell the us Saguaro. where that is. So it's on uh, Drinkwater and Indian School Boulevard in Old Town Scottsdale. Uh, right off the Civic Center Plaza, so awesome. very centrally located, and easy to get to. You guys are part of the Big Arizona Restaurant Week, we are. and this is another dish that's going to be on the menu, and this is ceviche. Yeah, this is a, a tuna ceviche made with a coconut serrano sauce. Oh, I can't wait to learn how to make this. Now, Terry does eat this a lot. She, she has it with, with shrimp, so you can yeah. do it a lot of different ways. Well, ceviche is traditionally a citrus marinated seafood, so you okay. can basically use any seafood that you want. And, and nowadays, I've even seen people making ceviches with, with vegetables. Ah, um, nice. And it's basically referring to that citrus marinade that, that comes through and that flavor that you're getting from it. And every marinade is different. Every and one I, and, is different. And I have tasted a few ceviches, and I will tell you, some are more bitter, some are more mm -hmm. sweet. So how do you prepare yours? I'm yeah, so, so we start with a coconut serrano sauce. So our coconut serrano sauce is made with coconut milk, ginger, serrano peppers, um, garlic, and coconut milk. And it's just basically reduced down and then all pureed together. So that's our base sauce. Okay. Um, that's where a lot of the flavor is coming from. But then there's a lot of ingredients that we need to add to make that you know, nice. more than what it is and give it more dimension. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so we're going to add some fresh diced tomatillo, uh, tomatillos, which are... Almost, they almost taste like a, a Granny Smith apple, I think. Um, but it's like green tomato. It's like a green tomato, <laughs> exactly. Uh, very common in Mexican cuisine. We have some uh, small diced red onion. Okay. Some fresh jalapeno, just to add a little bit more kick. And now in the last recipe, you had it a deep fried jalapeno, yeah. mm -hmm. so okay. Yep, so this is fresh in this one. And then some fresh cilantro again. And then we're going to add, to make it the citrus and the ceviche that we need, we need to have a little bit of uh, lime juice. And, and again, this that'll is give fresh it the squeezed, yep. fresh squeezed. Everything is fresh. Everything's fresh. Exactly. So this just gets mixed up. And as you can see, it gets a little looser um, and just, you know, adds texture and adds a completely more dimensions of flavor to your ceviche. And so this is, becomes our marinade for our tuna. Exactly. So this tuna we use, we use a, a sushi grade yellowfin tuna. Okay. And we just kind of dice it up like this. Um, and that just gets marinated, and I sometimes just gently folding that in. Yeah, very, very gently. Sometimes ceviches will they will marinate them for you know 24 hours or anything like that. Ours is more of a raw preparation, so this gets done. This would be if an order came in. This is exactly what would happen in our so kitchen. So is this an appetizer? Uh, this is an appetizer. Okay, yeah, absolutely. Okay. And it's it's really great for these hot Arizona summers. Oh, you know, yes. it's it's nice and light and refreshing, and you know, just really bright flavors. And I, I I was asking you, and we were talking about this earlier, I, I suspect that you do have to kind of change the menu as we the do. seasons change here because we are eating lighter. Nobody wants to leave with a big heavy belly no, you know, no, when it's no. so hot outside. Yeah, it's, it's, it's extremely important, you know, that we give give the people what they're looking for, obviously. Mm -hmm. When it's 120 out in Arizona, <laughs> yeah. no one's going to want to be sitting and eating a big, thick stew. You well, know? tell us a little bit more about the menu for, for Arizona Restaurant Week. So Arizona Restaurant Week, you know, it's three courses. Um, we are offering it for $30. So it's normal items that are on our regular menu any time of the day. Um, but we, uh, you know, give you guys a price discount, basically. So yeah. we, have, we have vegetarian options in every course. We can start with the guacamole. Um, there's a, an awesome Wagyu beef picadillo gordita um, that you can try. Uh, there's a kale Caesar salad kind of done in a, a Mexican way as an appetizer as well. Um, we have some great entrees too. Uh, I'll show you an entree in the next segment. Perfect. We can't um, wait. So, yeah. you're, so you're paying a flat rate, but you really are getting A plus uh, amazing cuisine throughout Arizona Restaurant Week. So if you've never taken advantage, this is a really good way for you to get out there and try some of those places that you've been wanting to try, but exactly. maybe a little out of your price point. Well, this looks amazing, and this is a raw dish, yep. and this is just one of the many things that you will get at Distrito. And um, you're going to come back next and tell us the name of what you're making. Uh, we are making gambas alajio. Or garlic shrimp. Garlic shrimp. <laughs> You're teaching me a lot today. All right, Terry, this is just another one of the fabulous th uh, dishes that you're going to find at Distrito during Arizona Restaurant Week. And